excuse me. I, I, I know this is really cheeky. Don't worry, I'm not going to steal anything. I thought you looked very, very cute. Okay. I had to come over and say hello. Uh -huh. You know, you reminded me. I don't know. You reminded me of this um, old movie I watched as a kid. You know, basically this nice woman just stole everything, ran away with a pretty smile. <laughs> but but nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you. You, you, did, you didn't look Indian at all. Are you from India? I'm, I'm actually very, very surprised. You, you look more kind of, I want to say Indian, but more kind of, um, you know, Asian. I am Indian. Oh, you're Indian. Okay, don't, yeah. don't worry. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. That's, that's good to know. Okay. Bali means, from what I know, Bali, at least in Arabic, actually basically means um, flower. Am, am I right, or am I completely wrong with that one? You know, you should know your, the meaning of your name, right? Yeah, it's strength. Strength. That's what I know. <laughs> that's a, that's the, I like the meaning of that. My, my name, my name's Bill, but it's Bilal. Okay. Yeah, and it basically means warrior. Oh, so not, 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 not too close. Yeah. Not too I'm close. Doing, what were you doing? What were you doing? I'm going to get a facial. A facial? Yeah. You look like uh, you've had one of those, uh, I'm not saying you look tired, but I'm saying you've had one of those well, s stressful weeks. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Because you give me the image of like you're like a high, high powered kind of lawyer, you know. No. <laughs> stride. You had that lawyer image about you. I don't know why. It's just, I think it's the black you're wearing oh, and okay. the impression that you gave off straight away. I thought she, she's either this uh, high powered lawyer or she just loves, uh, she loves practicing her own walk. I, I don't know which one. No, I'm, I'm a photographer. Are you a photographer? Yeah. Okay. What kind of photography are you like, Is it um, it's niche or? Is what, sorry? Portrait shop. Portrait shop? Yeah. So you do all the boring... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So you do all the boring business people, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm only joking. You know what? Yeah. Sometimes I actually do get my portraits done. Okay. But I, I know a guy who's quite good, and I know I know, know a guy called Dan who's who actually, he's actually teaching me photography at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What do you do? I work in property, basically. Okay. So I, I've been doing it for 10 years. We basically sell investments to investors. Basically, yeah. So it's like I'm basically all the time either on the computer or I'm meeting people after six o'clock. So yeah, I posh. No, I want to say posh restaurants, but <laughs> I'm saying like kind of posh dues. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it for at least with the networking side for the last six months. Okay. So it's quite interesting. What going into photography? That's quite. Um, I mean, if you if, if I was your Indian dad, then you know I would be disappointed. <laughs> I'm joking. What got you into photography? It's a passion. Yeah, and then I turned it into a career. So. That's good. That's good. You, you know, the, the, the good, the key word that you use there is passion, right? Yeah. So I, I have a friend, right, who works in computers, and he goes to me, I, and I thought I'm not like a computer guy. He go, just goes to me. I go to him. Well, why are you doing computers? He goes. He goes. Well, he sat me down. He goes. I feel like I've never worked a day in my life because I love what I do. Fair enough. So it's like one of those. Are you based in like? I'm assuming you're based in London. No. Based you're not. In Kenya. Kenya, so are you visiting? Yeah. How, lo how long are you here for? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, look, I've got to go. I've got to meet a friend. But look, it would be nice to take you out for a while another time. Um, if you're up for it. We can see. Look, take my number. Okay, sure. Thank give you. me a call or text me. If you take it now, give me a call and we can SMS. Oh, sure. Yeah, but it's nice meeting you. Nice but to meet you. You're very cute. Thank you. How was that for you? I think it was a re reasonable kind of interaction. Mm. Um, I think I said quite a lot. There wasn't a lot of investment from her side. Good. Um, her answers were a lot more short than mine. I was trying to story tell. Obviously, you can tell me how if, if that was going to good effect. Yeah. Um, but there was less um, use of a lot of assumptions. There's still, there were still a lot of assumptions, yeah. but I tried to go into it in a bit more detail. Mm. However, I should have explored some topics. I think what I recalled yesterday, when, when I did that set, you mentioned photography, and you mentioned, uh, you told me, you know, you should have just explored it a bit more, yeah. you know, in terms yeah, which of... Which is exactly kind of in, in my notes that I've got here, so... Exactly, so yeah. exactly. So I think I'm able to open the conversations and just getting more detailed conversations on the topics, which is something I need to focus on. Yeah, yeah, and, and that was exactly it. So, yeah, I mean, I know we kind of went over this one 
um, a bit yesterday. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just going over the points for this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just again, the, the slight over overdoing with the assumption stacking. I mean, you can have much simpler conversations, yep. which I kind of just said on that previous video. Sure. Um, definitely allowing her to invest that bit more by asking her questions that allows her to elaborate more. So yeah. uh, I think yesterday we spoke about, and, and even just watching that, that again, um, when she said about that, oh, I do photography, and you asked a little bit about, the, yeah. oh, what, what kind of photography do you do? Um, but absolutely, that would have been a topic to have opened up more of. You know, what kind of um, uh, photography do you do? How did you get into it? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? What's yeah. been your favorite thing to be taking photos of? Is there anything in particular that you would love yeah. to, to do? Is it your dream job? Yeah. Is there something else potentially afterwards? Um, people love to be able to talk about things that they're very passionate about and okay. that they enjoy a lot. Um, and you'll find that, especially when you're doing a lot of cold approaching, if you can bring those kind of topics out in people, like, yeah. like things that they enjoy talking about, you'll find that people will actually open up to you more yeah. and it will create a much deeper rapport um, yeah. uh, of which gives you that opportunity, increases, I would say, the chances of you going getting a phone number. Yes, of course. Um, because if she likes you, then... Uh, and you've shown interest in her, and especially if she's single, and if you can have a bit of a playful banter with yeah. her in a conversation, then there's no reason why someone won't say like, yeah, you know what, yeah, let's, let's yeah, take my, take my yeah, details yeah, sure. and stuff. So what I also noticed um, in the video, which I also quite liked, you actually uh, stood with your body kind of locked onto her, or facing her, and then as the conversation sort of developed, you moved nearer to the wall and nearer and closer to her as well which I thought was also really good because you're creating that intimacy bubble sure. with each other. Yeah. Um, I think what could have also made it feel more comfortable for you and maybe would have also relaxed you in it is actually just by putting your bag down. Okay, yeah. um, Just like temporarily, just like putting it down. Because otherwise there's this element of when you've got it over your shoulder, it's like, like I'm in a rush, I've got to, I'm going to go. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you're, you're trying to have a conversation with her. So you can always end up like saying, well, let me just put my bag down for a sec. Yeah. Um, She's not going to like think like, oh, he's, you know, yeah, he's have a deep gonna... conversation. Yeah, 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 of it's just going to be more of a comfort thing yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, I get that, I get that. Um, so I think that would just sort of tweak your body language. That might just help you to relax a bit more sure. into that moment. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think the same thing happened in a few other approaches. But then with how short some of them were, it's absolutely understandable. You weren't going to put your bag down to then pick it up again. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. But whenever you do find yourself um, getting into a conversation like if you spoke with someone for about a minute or so yeah. and it feels like you could have a couple more minutes chatting to them put your bag down if, you, if you've got it sure. um, it will relax you into it and then you can like cross your arms put your hands yeah, in your yeah, pockets yeah. Um, I personally like to be able to articulate with my hands I find that allows me to be very enthusiastic in conversations that sure. I have with people sure. or like if I would ever just sort of put my hands on my lap and then like carry on talking it's not the same emphasis yeah, yeah. I, I actually yeah. almost feel like my energy kind of changes uh, my voice definitely goes deeper but I mean I feel my energy change with that and when you're doing a lot of street approaching you obviously need the energy you there. need the energy there, yeah. um, there were some approaches which I don't think I, I've, I've included in this batch um, I mean you'll get everything anyway so you've had a watch them all but I think there were some where you probably just needed that extra little bit of energy yeah. Yeah. With, with talking to them so not so much in this one you, I think you did a really good job with this yeah. um, definitely explored too many topics um, you know limit, limiting the topics uh, uh, you can explore topics on a, on a date really yeah yeah um, or even in like chatting to her like on, on WhatsApp sure sure um, but yeah, I think just sort of limiting to, to uh, the topics that you went through, because you went through photography, you went through talking about your job, you went through uh, her getting a facial and stuff. Yeah, yeah, quite a few things. Um, I'd have been careful with the assumption, I think, that you made with her getting a fa her facial, because I think you said something about, like, you look like you probably had, like, a Rough stressful day yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. So you want to be careful with that, because okay. sometimes that could be the um, the floodgate of, like, I'm going to tell you all of my problems now. Oh, okay, all right. Which all right, I right. have seen. It's a hit or miss. Thank you, yeah, it's yeah. It, just because I, I say that doesn't mean it would have necessarily okay, sure, happened. Sure. Um, but with sometimes, with, with some women, if you, depending on where what kind of day they've had or where they're at in their life, it could be the fuck it. No, no, you, you want don't this. want that. <laughs> yeah, you want to always keep the, the conversations very like 
positive yeah. um, per se. So I would have sort of uh, turned it into statements more like, like, okay, so what? Why is it, why is the facial a reward for you? Like, what's yeah. what's the special occasion yeah, 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 yeah. for getting it? And she might say, oh, well, I just wanted to feel pretty. What? Well, and you know, you can, and then you can decide like if you want to give it like a cheesy response okay. or if you want to be kind of playful with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, but you've got a little bit more flexibility than I think with um, uh, with just limiting the topics, but then just expanding them more, okay. uh, and just being very wary of what kind of assumption steps that you make with that. Um, I could be more sympathetic to a situation, but I, I think I've kind of really just elaborated. Covered, like, yeah. yeah, just be careful when you are if you're making a, a, a statement or an observation, make sure it's always more positive rather more positive, than negative. Yeah. Like, oh, you look like you've had a bad day or you look like something, you've had a stressful week or something's gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah, just, just try and think of what would be the more positive version of that or the flip side of that. Okay. Is it a reward for you? Like, what are you, why are you treating yourself? What's the special occasion? What's it's like your birthday, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. Make it relax, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Uh, and too serious of a conversation yeah I think just bringing in a bit more playfulness okay. um, into it but I think that one would be just something that will happen over time when yeah, you just get a bit more comfortable just having I think more normal boring conversations yeah. because then there'll be something that she'll say that you can tease over and in fact in some of the later approaches you did that actually came in okay so you know it's there so that's why I won't I don't think I even need to give the feedback I think it's just when you have more relaxed conversations yeah. the playfulness will playfulness actually come out for okay. you All right. um, I think it's just trusting yourself that that will actually be there okay. um, so no but other than that I thought that was really good uh, so next one I'll let you put the headphones back on again yep Excuse me. Hi, hi, hi. I, I know this is I know this is very very cheeky, but I just had to say I, I loved your style. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Right. Yeah. How was that one for you? It was okay. It was just I think it was a bit too side on. Yeah. Um, I wasn't nowhere near in front. It was almost like almost behind her, which was I think it made her a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. And, and I delivered it, but she stopped. But wasn't the best kind of initial approach, I would say. Yeah, sure. So, so definitely with some of the later on approaches that that you did. Um, yeah. yeah, there was there was sort of a um, I'd say just a bad habit that you you had, where you did a little jog, you caught up with the girls, yeah, and then you kind of like slowed down and walked very close behind them. Yeah, and I know you you kind of said that um, yesterday that you felt that maybe. You might be sort of creeping them out just like yes, with your yeah, yeah. So the reason why is because you are essentially walking in their shadow. You are so close behind them at that point. Yeah. And I would say when you got that close, you just have you, you okay. have to commit to just getting straight round and doing it. Because when commit, you start yeah. walking behind someone for too long and you are literally in literally walking in their shadow. Yes. Um, yeah, they will get that sixth sense. I mean, okay. yeah, anyone would. I mean, anyone even, would, yeah, yeah. You know, because you start sort of being like, hang on a minute, someone feels very close behind me here, like, what's going on? So I think it's fine to, you know, pace yourself with walking, um, you know, if, you want, if you're catching up with them. Like, walk, walk quickly, um, and you can kind of contemplate the approach. But I think as soon as you get to that, like, 80 90% yep. point, like, near to where you started, where you saw them, to that moment where right now it's time to go into the stop. Yeah. I think at that last bit, that's where you have to go, right, am I all in or am I going to walk away? I understand, yeah. And if you're all in, you run around. But So you are completely overriding and overcoming any sort of thought process for you and for her that there is someone close behind who's, you know, yeah. about to come and talk. 
would you always advise approach from the front then? I would. So, I mean, definitely in, in this circumstance, yes. um, it was a little bit too on the side. Yeah. Um, and you also have to bear in mind that people are in like an autopilot when they're out and about. Yeah, of course. So when you go and stop someone, it, do, it still takes them a few seconds to, you know, snap out of it and go like, oh, hang on a bit, someone's talking to me. Yeah. So what, what did you say? Yeah. So you have to consider that people aren't actually listening to you in that first moment. Yeah, sure. So getting their attention first, wait till you've got their attention and then having the delivery um, can make all the difference. And I think a really good exercise for you. Yeah. And in fact, um, I've got my my keys in here. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to just sort of somewhat demo it. Let's just say... Right, these, these keys are really important okay. to me, right? Oh. Right, I've accidentally dropped them on the floor and I've carried on walking. Yeah. It's really important I get those keys back. Yes. So you've picked them up, how are you going to give them to me? I'm going to run and give it to you. you know? yeah. I'm not going to you you hesitate. Need, yeah. yeah, intention Okay. That and commitment. Okay. That, that person's life could be ruined unless I give them that their item. And when you, and, and I want you to even consider that when yeah. you, uh, and, and uh, I use another example, like with the wallet. If someone's dropped a wallet, yes, you you'd run back and go, excuse me, excuse me, yeah. really, sorry, you, you just you dropped your wallet. wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you, on the next time that you go out and practice, try and think of uh, approaching, just, just doing the stop, yeah. as though you were stopping someone because they've dropped their wallet. Okay. And that's literally it. That's like, okay. that's all you have to consider when it comes to doing the actual stop bit. Okay, fine. I think over the years it's been overcomplicated. Just stop them like you've just, they've literally lost something that's okay, super yeah. important yeah, and you're yeah. about to give it back to them and they will be eternally grateful okay, for doing sure. it. And obviously the, inter- the actual uh, action you are going to, to take or the conversation you're going to say is that they look great or that yeah. you like something about them or that they're fashion, you love their fashion. I understand that. And, and you will find your stop rate will probably improve dramatically okay, with that. Okay. Um, I had it with a guy about a month ago where actually that was the case. And it's obviously a lot easier to, to demo the, the key scenario on the street. Yes. Where I, I dr- literally dropped the keys on the floor. I walked off and said, but you better give those keys back to me, otherwise I'm going to be really stuck. Yeah. And, um, and he picked them up, he ran over to me, gave them to me, and I said, that is exactly how you need to do it. That's how you should do it, okay. All right. And that is that. There's no, like, what angle do I go in? Where do I do it? You know, just how, do you, how would you give someone back their wallet if they dropped it? No, you would definitely run around, you know. Yeah. You, it's commitment, right? Yeah, but yeah. You, you are stopping them with intention, and that is it. Okay, fine. That's, that's all you need to, to consider. I'm going to bear that in mind. So, yeah. can I ask, in, in all instances, it's, it's best to go around, loop around, in terms of the front um, stop? What, yeah, what and, and it, but it's circumstantial as yeah. well. So, if, obviously, it's like a crowded area. I mean, there was a bit of a crowd there, and I know in some of the other approaches, there was absolutely a crowd. Massive crowd, yeah. There's only so much you're going to be able to do. Yeah. Because if you, you're not going to have any space to walk in front of it, and you need to give someone a bit of space as well. Of course. To, you know, snap out of autopilot and slow down and come to a halt. If you're too close when you stop them, they're going to walk into you. Yeah, and that's absolutely. going to freak them out as well. Yeah. Um, and also then it's going to draw a lot of attention around you because everyone yeah. else is going to go like, oh, what's happened here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's obviously you have to kind of pick your, your battles or your opportunities um, quite well. Yeah. Um, but that's why sometimes, and, and definitely um, uh, this was, a, I, I think, just a, probably a slight error that you, you had on some of your approaches where you, you genuinely did miss the window of opportunity. Sure. Like you saw the girl, you, you kind of did your jog over, and then you walk slowly behind them. Um, it was a big open space that you could have approached, and then you kind of got caught in a crowd, and then you had to kind of like move back a bit. Yeah. Um, and then you had to wait until the crowd was gone, or she got around the crowd, yeah. and then you got around the crowd, and then you caught up again. Then yeah. you kind of got in a shadow, and then I get that. And yeah. Then you did the it's that whole kind of hesitation, which I just need to step out. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of so again, it's absolutely fine to decide early on. Right? Am I going to commit to her or am I not? Yeah. But it's that last 80 90 percent. If you're gonna do it, just do go it. Go yeah. for it. Okay. Um, or if you genuinely see someone you like, just, just go straight. Just go in. for it. Again, okay. think the, the she's dropped the wallet approach or she's yeah. dropped her keys approach. Yeah. And then just go I'll for it. I'll get that, I'll get that. Um, and then there really wasn't much else to, to go on. I mean it was just a compliment. She said thank you. It was good that she stopped and, and then walked off and you, you kind of wished her a nice day yeah. anyway. So no, that was that was absolutely fine. 
Um, and yeah, and I kind of, the other thing was yeah, the uh, more authority with the stop. Which again, if you're getting round in front of someone, you'll have that authority yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, just also smile a bit more. Well. Smile a bit more. You know, uh, it, again, you want to be enjoying it. Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, that's just really the only other thing okay. um, to consider with that. 